Hello everyone, welcome to part 141 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will go to working on the user orders once again. Uh, we are going to display the product images in the user order detail, and I'm going to show you uh, that these are the orders, uh, user orders. And if you will click on any of the order, uh, the order details will come. Okay, so this one we have integrated in the last few videos in the user account. The user can able to assess the my orders from here and can view the all the orders here and can view the details of the orders here okay so uh, see along with the product details we also require to show the product image as well okay so that thing we are going to do in this video that is left in the last video i realize i realized that is pending okay so we are going to finish this one in this video and then we are going to work on the orders in the admin panel we are going to display the orders in the admin panel as well both for admin as well as for the vendors okay so uh, let's show the image now and for that i'm going to create one function get product image function i'm going to create inside the product model okay so i'm going to open the product model here okay so here i'm going to add one function and uh, this function i will also pass the parameter product id in this function so that i will uh, I, I will declare it as uh, static function i will define it as static function because i am going to use it this function in our orders uh, details blade file okay so i will name it like get product image and i am going to pass the product id like we used to pass in the other functions as well here you can see okay so here uh, I will write the query to get the uh, product image from the products table and just the product image is required so I will just use the select here and the product image is required that is there the product image column is there in the products table so I'm going to get it where ID I'm going to compare it with the dollar product ID okay so if in case you uh, uh, see you want to see that the column is matching you can check in the prox table here we can go we can check in the prox table that we have the product uh, uh, underscore image column here in the prox table uh, here you can able to see here is the column okay so we have this product underscore image uh, column in the prox table to have the main image of the product okay you can also check this thing in the admin panel if you want okay so uh, we have the main image of the product here in this column so that we can just simply select and uh, we can convert always convert it to um, uh, two array this first we are going to use the first and after that two array okay so here we are going to return get product image okay so here uh, we are going to use uh, we are going to send uh, this uh, product image here product underscore image like this okay so we are going to simply send this product image to the blade file okay so we are going to call this function in the blade file uh, front order detail blade file this file and what we are going to do we are going to create one column here in the front product image and here also we are going to create here also and here we are going to call that function i'm going to first uh, remove this one and i'm going to call that function i'm going to start the php we can start the php like this also okay dollar get product image and we are going to call from the product model same function name and product id dollar product id product uh, okay product id will come here product underscore id and after that uh, we are going to uh, check this one okay fine so uh, here we will use the end php okay so now 
uh, we are going to add the image here so image and we are going to uh, add the style we will uh, add the width for the image here pixel okay so here uh, we are going to here okay set so here we will add front images inside images we're going to see the path here we can open that xam sc docs we are going to check the path where we are storing the product images and we're going to check here uh, uh, public uh, where it is public front images front underscore images okay small okay uh, front images product underscore images small okay so here get product image fine and here uh, now we are going to check once okay so path we have added and we are going to check here uh, okay so we need to add the product model at the top here okay so use app models product so we are going to check once again and uh, see here image is not coming uh, we need to check the path here uh, front image is <coughs> front image is front image is small after small uh, we require to have that slash so now we are going to check once again and this time the image is coming fine okay so you can see also we are going to add uh, the product link also okay uh, so for that we are going to add the product link here first we will like this trip and here we are going to add url and uh, product slash after that the product id will come and the product id we are having this and we are going to add it like this and then we are going to close this okay so now we are going to click so now see uh, it is coming fine but uh, what we are going to do we are going to display if the user, uh, user will click on this link uh, we want to get uh, to display the product on the new window okay so now uh, we are going to see see it is opening in new window okay so now the uh, product image is also coming along with the order okay so we can check the other orders as well uh, like uh, for the two items this one is having the two items here you can see the two items are here like if the user will open these item user, user can able to see the product detail page of that item okay so uh, you can do this thing at your end uh, so uh, to have the complete order details that we are showing in the uh, user account okay user order order detail or in user order you can say in the my orders uh, page of the user okay so in the next video we are going to show the orders in the admin panel and also we are going to display the vendor orders means the products uh, that are added by the vendor uh, okay so if the order has been placed for those products that are added by the vendor we are going to show those products in the vendor panel okay so only those products we are going to show in the vendor panel that belongs to the vendor otherwise not all the products we are going to show all the products we are going to show in the end panel only okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye